welcome to this mini tutorial in the series Ways to Come Up with Research Question. This session follows up the idea of browsing through journal contents to find some ideas for your own research study. This is Tom. He studies psychology. Tom was beginning to despair of ever thinking of a research question. He was in the library one day flicking through the contents pages of one of the journals when he spotted a fascinating report about a musical illusion. This wasn't anything he had heard about before but it really caught his interest. This musical illusion was identified by Diana Deutsch. It involves playing alternating octaves into headphones with the right and left headphone having opposite patterns played at the same time. The result that the listener reports is hearing a single, not a double pattern, and it swings between the ears, with notes heard in one ear that are actually being played in the other. Tom had many questions. Is this illusion real? Would he be able to replicate it? What if the participants had a high level of musical training? Would they be taken in as well? Perhaps if he played the illusion very slowly it would break down. And if this illusion does exist, and it can take in highly trained musicians, what does this suggest about how the brain processes auditory input? So Tom decided to use all of these four related questions as his research questions. The questions come together under his thesis title, Testing to Destruction of Deutsch's Musical Illusion. What do the findings suggest about how the human brain processes auditory input? So if you're having difficulty coming up with a research idea, you could try spending an hour or so browsing through some relevant journals and see if you find anything surprising, interesting, new or puzzling that you could build on. There are more mini tutorials in this series on our website.